Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are adding another video in the miscellaneous series. In this particular video, we are going to talk about errors. Errors might be of different kinds and those are sourced because of multiple mistakes that we do in our simulation. However, most of the errors come from a few mistakes. Those are defined mistakes and in this video, I am going to cover about this. Before I initiate technical discussion of this particular video, I would like to inform that we have initiated a service where we assist you developing your research problem. You write to us in the email ID given in the description box and I will set up a video call to assist developing your problem. So let us go ahead with today's discussion. As I have mentioned, there are few common mistakes that we do and that lead to certain errors and those common mistakes are not assigning materials to all the domains, not entering required material parameters, not meshing all the domains and you can just guess if you don't do this you should expect an error but by mistake sometimes we do those things. And today I will show you in the console window how exactly it lead to an error. And other reasons are not assigning proper boundary condition. This is very important because if your boundary conditions are not pertinent to your physical problem, you may expect an error. Sometimes what happens, you don't, you don't get any error but your boundary conditions are wrong. Then your simulation results will be erroneous. It will be incorrect result and that will not define your physical thing and the last one is wrong ordering of study steps study steps ordering of the study steps and choosing the study steps will be very important and if you don't choose a correct study step then you may expect an error so let us show it on console window one by one in order to show this, I have taken a very typical problem of laminar flow as I am a chemical, uh, I am a chemical engineer. That's why I like to choose laminar flow in most of the descriptions. So this is a laminar flow that flow is happening in this channel and for the flow, we have an inlet here at the left and an outlet here at the right. So at inlet, we need to define certain boundary conditions and also at the outlet and the walls are by default chosen so those two are walls and at the walls we have taken no slip conditions and the material is taken as water from the material library of Comsol. so first thing which you should notice here is all the properties are enlisted by the material that is taken from the material library but sometimes what happens you may miss a certain property and that may lead to an error. So let us see it. Suppose you don't have a defined density and then you run your simulation. If you run your simulation, you may expect an error. You can see undefined material property row. So it's saying that material property row is undefined. It is also being shown by a cross symbol in red because uh, whenever you choose a material all the properties are not automatically enlisted when you choose a material then specific properties are enlisted which are required for solving the specific physics that you have chosen i'll tell you in detail so suppose the density is thousand i have chosen now you don't see any error but what I was talking about, now we only have this many properties because those are needed. Uh, but if you look at the laminar flow equation, you can see we only need rho and we need the property mu, which the mu is the viscosity. So if we go to the material property, we can see instead of density and viscosity, we have other thermal values and those thermal values are there because the properties are not taken as constant it is taken as function of temperatures or heat specific heats and all and that's why these properties are needed 
Now, if you if you put certain other physics along with laminar flow, say you put heat transfer, then the material heat transfer coefficients will be required and that will automatically come. So, in COMSOL, everything is defined as an algorithm and it automatically comes when based on your chosen physics. Now, we are done with the material mistake and the next one was entering required material properties. I have uh, talked about it. So, it is saying that if you don't choose material in a specific domain, you may expect an error. So, let us try to do it. Suppose I put another square here, say this one. And while we choose material, suppose we miss this particular domain. Now, if I try to solve, I may expect an error. See, similar undefined material property in fluid properties. Because I have not chosen this particular domain. I have not put material to this domain. But if we go to laminar flow, you can see the laminar flow I have chosen in the entire domain. And that is why you are actually getting an error. So this is a common mistake that you should not do. So the next one was not meshing all the domains. Similarly, if we do like this, suppose we take a free triangular mesh and we choose our domain say we choose only this domain and we don't choose this one now if i try to simulate let's see what happens you see what has happened actually the simulation has run but your solution is incorrect if you see you are not getting any values everywhere this is zero because I have taken an inlet here but at this particular position we do not have any mesh and that's why no point of giving an inlet value because in COMSOL whatever is happening all the things are happening at the node points at the grid points so it is basically solving the differential equations at those grid points and also it is defining the boundary conditions. So if you don't mesh this particular domain but you define your inlet here that means you are not defining anything so it is not solving anything. Now we come to the next one which is not assigning proper boundary condition. I have already talked about it in my previous videos but let us do it once again because here I am talking about all the silly mistakes that we do and that lead to an error. So let us uh, delete this free triangular mesh. Let it take automatically. Let us build mesh at all the domain. Uh, we have to delete it. So let us delete the mesh and take a fresh one. That will work better. So I go to mesh click on add mesh and then build all so now at entire domain we have mesh so now we will be working with boundary conditions suppose in the boundary conditions the boundary conditions should be pertinent to the physical problem now say let us put a boundary condition at inlet 0 0.01 meter per second velocity and at the outlet, we also put say velocity boundary condition and the velocity boundary condition, let's say this is 0 0.02 and try to run the simulation. I click on compute. Let's wait what happens. It's taking time and I expect an error. So you can see it is showing fa fail to find consistent initial value. So what is the meaning why exactly it is coming because I have given a wrong boundary condition. So I am defining that at this inlet I have a velocity of 0 0.01. So if you multiply it by the area cross section area of the inlet. So the flow rate will be 0 0.01 say cross sectional area is A. 
So the flow rate would be 0 0.01 into A. And at the outlet, what I am defining 0 0.02, it has same cross section. So at the outlet, the flow rate would be 0 0.02 into A. So it is violating your continuity equation because in continuity equation, it is mentioned there should be no accumulation of mass. So otherwise it will hamper, it will violate the continuity equation. So in this boundary condition, basically I am violating the continuity equation and that's why I'm getting an error. So this is very easy to define for a simple physics, but when your actual research problem is complicated, you have multiple boundary conditions and you don't have an idea about what boundary conditions you are choosing. So in that case, by mistake, you can actually take a wrong boundary condition and that may lead to an error. So this is very much important that you understand your physical problem, you understand the boundary conditions you are defining. Otherwise, you may expect error. Even if it runs, your solution will be wrong. You will get an incorrect result. So I talked about this boundary condition, inlet boundary condition and I have just given you one example. There might be numerous examples where you come across wrong, you put wrong boundary conditions and you come across errors. So now let me check the last one which I have mentioned. Wrong ordering of, st of study steps or choosing wrong study steps. Suppose this particular one is fluid flow and we are solving a transient fluid flow and that is why you should take time dependent study. But what if instead of time dependent, if I ch take frequency domain, I had chosen earlier. So let me take once again. So let me delete this time dependent study. Suppose you are new to COMSOL and you don't know what are those studies and by mistake you actually take a wrong study. Suppose here I go right click on study. There are study steps. Say this one is the frequency domain. Suppose I don't know anything about COMSOL and by mistake I have taken this study and I am trying to compute it. So what will happen? Automatically it will show some error like feature stationary solver 1 or something it is showing. The ultimate idea is you are solving laminar flow and you are trying to solve it in the frequency domain. So no point of getting, taking uh, frequency domain here because wh why, where exactly you need frequency domain? Suppose you are solving a differential equation, say wave equation in the frequency domain. In that particular case, you should go ahead with your frequency domain. Suppose you are solving differential equation, wave equation in time domain, then you should choose the physics time domain. So you should have preliminary idea of, about the solvers, about the settings of the this uh, studies and if you do not have it, you may expect an error. And in most of the other cases, the error come from the solver configuration. Sometimes what happens, you should choose a fully coupled solver, but you have chosen segregated. You forgot to merge the segregated solvers. There might be multiple default options available in COMSOL and sometimes those default options may not work for your particular physics. So knowing about solvers is very important. So in our advanced level video, in the upcoming sessions, we'll talk about solvers and how exactly different wrong combination of solvers lead to errors that I'll be talking about in the upcoming video. Meanwhile, I would like to request you to subscribe to our channel because it will give more motivation to upload more videos. Thank you.